Hey everyone, today we're going to the Seoul Electronics Market at Yongsan Station. There's Yongsan Station over there. And we're going to head this way to go to the big electronics market. Now, this market has decreased a lot lately with the uh, online shopping that everybody has been doing now. So it's certainly not as big as it was before, but there is still a lot there and there's honestly nothing like this market in North America. So it's pretty interesting. There's lots of stuff to see and do and you can buy pretty much anything that you want right there. It consists of a few buildings. Um, we won't visit them all today as <coughs> excuse me, many of them don't contain like true computer electronics, they're more um, lighting and other things for your home and things like that too that you can get but um, we're going to check it out I'm going to buy some stuff and we'll see what is all there so come along for the ride and enjoy And this is the entrance of the Electron Shopping Street. That's right, we got some electrons here. Okay, so here we are. This building right here is Sunin uh, Mall. It has a lot of PC stores inside. You can buy all your components for your PC, your laptops and everything. And along the outside here, we can see a few general shops too. <clears throat> There's a printer shop there. Sorry, I have a bit of a cold today. Um, so as we walk along here, we'll see see that big MSI sign up there. That is the MSI service center. So for any MSI components, you can get service there. This building, these buildings are brand new. They are hotel and uh, something that they call office tells in Korean. It's like a apartment or thing that you can do, use for a small office. And there used to be a large building there but uh, they tore it down and put up some new buildings. So you can see how it's kind of losing some of what was here before. Over there you can see ET Land, that's going to be our first stop. We may come back to Sunim Plaza later, but I really like ET Land as it has everything in there. <clears throat> From Arduinos and electronics components all the way up to laptops, TVs and refrigerators. So. We'll head over there now. So they wanted $25 for an off-brand battery, something that I didn't want to pay. I'll look around, maybe someone else has one for cheaper. Under $15, I think would be good. So, we're gonna go over to my favorite building, ET Land and uh, check out what's there. Let's head downstairs. I'm more interested in what's down here. So, this is where all the funky stuff is, I guess. So this store is a dedicated audio store. More audio equipment. I haven't really gotten into any audio stuff, so I'm not sure what all that is. There's a store just for fans. Literally, that's what they sell, is fans. Interesting. This place, another audio shop, earbuds, voice recorders, that type of thing. Some type of office there. Esports shop. 
Xiaomi store. Oh, would you look at that? Interesting. Xiaomi world. Okay. That's new. I haven't seen that. But uh, as I was saying before, a lot of shops are leaving, so there's literally nothing down this section here. So we're going to head back and uh, where all the stuff is. We're going to buy some components. I think I'm going to get Arduino Nano, Arduino Pro Minis. I want a Raspberry Pi 3 today as well. This place just sells screws and standoffs and everything. Interesting if you need something like that. So I'm going to head down to the Arduino store. Oh, it's over here. Components, RCA jacks and everything they sell. More RCA jacks. Not really any antennas, potentiometers. Not too much in the way of other stuff. So let's, let's keep going down here. Connectors, another audio store. Radio store, pretty interesting. Another radio store, closed. Drone store, well that's pretty sweet. This place sells LEDs, microcontrollers. Okay, this is what we're looking for. I think I was here before. You can see in there. I'm just going to shop around a little bit. So, I will. There's another drone store, Parrot. I'm just going to shop around and uh, when I buy something, I'll come back. So I found this store that sells a lot of uh, components and uh, this is uh, Mr. Wanggu uh, Kim. I'm Henry Bingo SS Thompson or uh, uh, Thompson LCC. Okay. Uh, this uh, trend maker is uh, Thompson, uh, Thompson Passive Component. Capacitor. Yeah, capacitor components. Yeah, yeah. Is the polyester capacitor. Ah, okay. Or, Poly uh, caps. Barista. Okay. Yeah. And ceramic caps. Poly caps and ceramic caps. Ah, interesting. Mm -hmm. So, how long? How long have you been here for this store? Uh, I am uh, twenty. Uh, 29 years ago. 29 years, yeah. okay. Uh, yeah. uh, after uh, is uh, uh, BSI. Okay. BSI Korea. Yeah. In uh, uh, 50 years ago. 50 years ago, yeah. wow, okay. Yeah. Total, total working is uh, uh, 40. 40 years, yeah, 40 40 years. wow. <laughs> That's a lot to, to do mean, this uh, stuff. Uh, uh, Bangun, uh, University. Uh, Ganwon University, uh, okay. Yeah. Electronics, uh, uh, electronics engineer, yeah. yeah. Uh, audio engineer. Audio engineer, okay, yeah. interesting. Uh, five, five years. Five years, okay, wow. <laughs> uh, long time. Mm -hmm. in, in Canada, we don't have too many of these stores anymore. Oh, yeah. yeah, we cannot just go in my city and buy something. We have to order online. Mm -hmm. And normally it comes from China or, yeah. China is a bad pass. Yeah, it makes, took a lot of the business oh, from. No. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, thank you. And uh, thank you for the parts as well. Thank you for uh, being on my channel. Thanks. Yeah, thank you. So, this store seems to sell a lot of 
PCBs, perf board, breadboards, uh, jumper cables, potentiometers, that type of stuff. So, uh, unfortunately, there's nobody in there right now, so we'll try to come back later. Let's see what else we can find around here. Power supplies. DC adapters. Feed through capacitors. This is all SMD components here. Solar panels. Oh, interesting. I might pick up some of those. Mica capacitors. Those are old. Oh, I'm going to go in and uh, maybe take a look at their solar panels. Hey guys, so I'm back home now. Um, I couldn't find any retro gaming section around Yongsan, which I was a little bit disappointed in. Um, but I had a good time looking at all the little electronic stuff. And uh, yeah, so let's take a look and I'll show you guys what I got. So this is everything that uh, I bought today. Not too much, but uh, I got some things I wanted and uh, I'll buy more online. It's a little bit cheaper online still, but let's take a look. Um, so first of all, I got these resistors. I got 500 resistors. Uh, I got um, 100 ohm, 1K, 2.2K, 10K, and another one. I forget what I got, but five five different uh, resistor levels and a hundred of each and that was five dollars it wasn't bad I got uh, four Arduino uh, let me focus on that Arduino Pro Mini um, one here so I got four of those to use for embedded products those four there uh, let's see what else do I got here ah. This is an Arduino Nano, and I got that to, uh, the camera's not focusing very well, these bags. I got that to hook up to my breadboard for programming the Arduino Pro Minis, or testing before is the Arduino Pro Minis. This is a distance sensor, uh, this camera. This is a distance sensor with the uh, infrared LED there, and the adjuster. That was only a couple dollars. I got 10 of these two color LEDs. Uh, I, th I thought they were interesting, so I picked them, them up. They're red and yellow. So we'll see how those work. I got five potentiometers, 10K potentiometers. I got a uh, light sensor here, light sensor board. I got two of these ESP uh, Wi Fi modules. They were only two dollars each. I got two of these relay boards with two re relays on them each, 10 amp relays. So those are pretty cheap too, about two dollars each, I think they were. And uh, they have a selector. Can't really see them. I'll take them. I'll show them later. I'll take them out. But they have a few jumper wires that you can change some options on them with. I got this um, board for providing power to a breadboard. So it makes it a little bit easier. It does 3.3 and 5 volts. So it can change, just powered off USB. Um, I got these are some 555 timers. Got 10 of those. They're $2 for 10. I got 10 op amps and 10 switches. Again, it was about $2 for the op amps and dollar for the switches. Pretty good. Uh, I have two of these relays. I don't really know why I bought them, but uh, whatever. I got this soil sensor. I thought it was cool. I want to do a little project with that and uh, test soil levels and everything. I got some of these uh, 5 volt regulators. Couldn't find any MOSFETs. They were out of the ones that I wanted. So I got these, and I got two of these ultrasonic sound sensors. So um, that was my trip to 
Yongsan Electronics Market, the largest electronics market in Korea. Uh, it was cool because there's nothing like it that we have in Canada, especially in my, the small city I'm from. But uh, it was a fun time and I will go back. If you guys are in Korea, I recommend that you visit. Even just to look around, there's lots of computer stuff there as well if you're into computers or need computer components. But uh, this time I wanted some some components to build electronics and they had a great selection. See you next time.